Hey everybody, uh, it's Dave from Raising the Dead, RaisingTheDeadBand.com, and um, this weekend my band is playing a show in Ferndale, Michigan, where we are going to recreate the Without a Net album, and um, that means I had to learn, we had to learn, Victim or the Crime, which uh, kind of flummoxed me for a long time, uh, trying to figure out exactly what was going on. I'm playing Bobby's part here, um, but once... Uh, we got it all figured out with um, some help uh, from uh, the Are You Kind site and also from Mick Beth Music, um, who posted a really good video. Um, I just wanted to kind of put everything a little more concisely, give you some um, uh, fret numbers to, to follow, and you can see how uh, he, uh, Bobby plays this song, at least as far as I think it's done. I can't guarantee it's 100% perfect, but it's the way I'm going to play it uh, this weekend, and I think it's pretty darn close. So um, I'm going to stand up so you can see uh, my strat um, really well, and uh, let's let's see how we do here. So the first chord is just um, on the middle four strings of the guitar. It's nine nine seven uh, six seven. F sharp sus four. Uh, I think Bobby was just trying to find chord forms that he normally couldn't reach uh, to find something that nobody else had played. So, um, anyways, he found some cool sonorities. So here's that first intro, and it's going to be pulling off, pulling off that seventh fret to the sixth and down. So. It's That's our uh, starter place for the whole song. We'll come back to that all the time. But, so let's talk about the climbs. The first climb um, is, uh, the way I'm going to play it is, I'm basically concentrating on um, the D, G, and B strings here. Um, uh, what's happening in these three strings. You can play it with that uh, uh, the A string played down too. But um, here's the meat of it. So uh, I'm playing... Six, seven, uh, let's try it again. Nine, six, seven. And then I'm going to bring up my first finger to nine, seven, seven. Then I'm going to bring up my second finger to nine, seven, eight. And then I'm going to swap out my fingers and do nine, seven, nine. Now I'm going to bar and put my uh, second finger on the tenth fret of the B string. And I'm going to go up again, one more, and for this last one, my keyboard player, and I went back and forth on this, but I think because Jerry plays this, this chord is going to be 9, 11, 12. So that whole climb, first climb. to that uh, C sus 2, which is 10, 10, 9, 9, and then back to our opening chord. So the second time you do that climb, it resolves differently. It's vanilla E. And now we get to the, the second group of funky chords that require a big stretch. So we got seven, seven, four, four. And I'm you know I'm playing with my uh, third and fourth strings up here and my, my fingers up here and my barring with my first finger down here. And you're gonna go back and forth on that fifth fret of the B string. So brings us to the second climb. So that second climb starting here, seven, seven, four, four, and let's just focus on these three strings. So it's seven, four, four. Then we're gonna put down the second figure, seven, four, five. Then we're gonna bring this one up. And then seven, five, six. And then I'm gonna bar across. It's not this, it's just this. 
so all sevens, eight, and that soprano note. Now, you're going to go a whole step up, put down your pinky, and put down your uh, ring finger on the ninth fret. So it's seven, nine, ten, and then one higher with your pinky for the nice one, two, three, four, five fret spread, just because we can, I guess. And then that C sus two, and back to the E. So here's that climb one more time. This is where things get a little easier. Basically, I'm just playing the top four strings, 10, uh, 11, 9, 9, 9. And um, I'm just kind of uh, chunking along there. There's not a whole lot going on until the third line that he's singing here. So it's, what fixation feeds us fever as the full moon pales and climbs. Now, He's gonna start alternating with uh, his, you know, that A chord right here, or maybe F sharp minor. If you want to put minor seven, you put all those together. So you just putting that on the the tenth fret of the B string. So it's living truth or right to see. is what I'm voicing here. I'm gonna play open E string and then seven, eight, nine. And then it's back to our opening chord. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, seven, eight, nine, there it is. <laughs> so those are all the pieces. Um, you have to listen for the form. Uh, the studio version has a slightly different form. Uh, the without a net version has a time where it kind of goes half time through that first climb. And even one time where, like, he's, you think maybe he was thinking about going half time, but he didn't. Um, so there's different ways that they can do that. Big jam at the end on that uh, those parts. There's times where it goes right from the C sus to uh, back to the F sharp sus 4 without anything in between. Anyways, you can figure that out. So, hopefully, uh, with the building blocks here, you can uh, put the song together and, uh, you know, maybe this tune can get its due a little more often. Alright, enjoy. Plays on.